Okay, welcome everybody. Today, we're not doing anything too crazy, but we do have some artifacts to review, right? We have a total of six artifacts so far, and according to the patch note, you can get them 1 in 10 chance to get them, right? In any chest, or any underwater treasure chest, it says. Which, you know, is good. Perfectly fine. But today, we're just gonna make a tier list. I gotta show you guys my tier list. It's mostly just copy and paste, but we have listed it. Each of them. So, I think we can start with Lucky Coin, right? <laughs> and what we think, how good is it, right? It says, plus 7.5 looting, increase the chance of getting additional seal chests from sinking enemy ship. So, I feel like this actually would be really good. Like, really good. Since maximum, you can have 4 deck hands, right? It means you're gonna get like... 4 times 2, which 8, right? You can get 8 lucky coin. So, what's 8 times 7.5 again? Oh, God, guys. Let me bring out the calculator. Holy shit. I'm prepared, by the way. Def definitely very prepared. But, times 8, we get 60% chance of getting an additional suit chest. That's really high, guys. That's really high. So, this would be really good. You're basically getting like... Every two pirate ship, you're getting a, you know, additional chest. So that's really good. And I think maybe lucky coin. I don't know. I can, I don't know what other like artifact does, right? Because we just want to see what's the best of the best, right? The best of the best can probably stay on S, which we can leave lucky coin on S for now, right? If we find something better, we can like move lucky coin down probably. <laughs> Um, yeah, so that's the plan. Now, moving on to Golden Bolt, right? It says plus 10% crash resistant, right? Okay, fine. Increase your ship's damage resistant to bumping and crashing. So, this is basically the skill issue artifact. And the maximum you can have is 80%, which you're basically not gonna take any damage from bumping, right? So, I mean, I think it's fine. Like, it's useful. Maybe not that useful if you're good at driving, but I don't think you're gonna bump into anything much, right? I'll put it on D tier just because it does... I don't know, I, feel, I don't feel like you're gonna be running into things a lot, right? You'll get used to driving the more you drive, so... You know, um, maybe it's good for newbies, right? Um, I'll leave it on D for that. But, now next, for the freighted lead line, it says, plus 7.5% water resistant increase your ship's damage resistant to what? To waves? Whirlpools? And done- Oh, thunderstorm! No way, okay. So this one's really good. Like, it, especially for the dark sea, right? If we do like 7.5 times 8 again, that is 60% resistant to lightning. Tsunami, oh my god, this is so good. Wait, like like for Dark Sea, it's just really good. I mean, if you understand the Bronze Sea, it's probably not that useful, right? Like, I don't know. Are you gonna go into Dark Sea more, or are you gonna fight Pirate Ship more, I feel like, right? I, like, I feel like this is as good as Lucky Coin. Mmm, they're both really good, but I'm not sure which one would be better. Maybe resistant to weather more, right? Like, if we look over here, um, it's hard to say. I think maybe it's a little bit above Lucky Coin, because I feel like you might run into, like, Tsunami and whatever more than, like, Parachute, right? Because I don't feel like, I mean, unless you want to farm Bronze Chest, right, then Lucky Coin is going to bring more value. Other than that, I think maybe Freighted Leadline can stay one tier above Lucky Coin, right? They're both S, I feel like. They're just really good to have, right? Like, I don't know. Mm, what would S even mean? Like, I feel like those are just really good. Like, A is good, S is just really good, right? And both Lucky Coin and the Leadline does that, right? It's survivability or loot. So, 
yeah I think I I like survivability over loot more so I'm gonna put it a little bit ahead right um okay now let's move on to rusty fish hook we have plus 5% crew fishing speed increase the speed at which your crew catches fish while docked it right I mean I'm familiar with this but we're really only gonna get like 20% wait is it 20% no it's 5% each of them so we're gonna get 40% increase right <laughs> just double check you know 5 times 8 right right okay 40 uh-huh makes sense so 40% sounds like a lot I feel like right I do I did remember seeing it on the patch note right um it says right I brought it up for you guys it says your crew can catch one fish for 10 to 20 minutes right so that's gonna be like what six minutes to 12 minutes each fish which i mean it, it's like each of your playthrough really like if you guys just log on do like a normal like 10 minute run or something like i guess you get a fish or two that means like it, it's probably just much better if you just fish on your own right because unless there's a different rate for like what fish your crew can catch right which i don't think so i think it's the same thing as you just fishing normally right and to to remind you guys right fishing with your crew actually doesn't give you items you only get fish so yeah um i don't know i don't think fishing hook would be high would be like really high in the tier right um i think you could have it if you just want extra loot right instead of like the seal chest it's fine if you don't like combat right i'll leave that be it's like it's fine it's not like the worst um thinking of worse golden bolt might be c tier because i don't feel like it's that bad d tiers were like you know it's really bad c is like okay you know i just move it up like now that i go over it again so okay now we move on to small gunpowder barrel right it says plus 10 percent cannonball saver increases the chance for a cannon and mortar to not use a cannonball when f while fired it which i mean this one is also a skill issue i feel like sometimes <laughs> not as bad right but i don't know like do you really want to save your cannonballs when you can use lucky coin over the small gunpowder barrel right if you use the lucky coin you get an extra chest which you'll get like 50, 20, 30 cannonballs which you're already getting like basically 3,000% 3, 3, value of the cannonball saver compared to like you know lucky coin so uh like if you use small gunpowder barrel I feel like this would just be like a waste like a waste of artifact slot so Maybe it's a debuff? I wanna say it's D tier, guys. Um, Like, I don't know if I wanna put on E tier, cause it has some use, and it E tier is when, where it gets debuffed, right? Cause yesterday, we have, um, we made a list for profession, and chef basically gives you debuffs, which, you know, we put it on E, basically, if it's like that bad, right? <laughs> I feel like it's not good, but you definitely want something over the barrel, right? Like, I think it would be much better if you just had the golden bolt to get resistant to bumping, right? Over the gunpowder barrel. So, yeah. <laughs> and now uh, we move on to the last one. It says Whirlpool Escape. Hmm. That's 10%, right? Mmm, I don't know about this one, guys. I, I don't like this one. Increases chance for your ship to escape a whirlpool, which... I feel like... Why would you have this? There's no reason to have this if you have the navigator, right? Everybody's gonna need a navigator. If you press Z on level 40 for your navigator, right? That's where you unlock the ability to escape, um... To escape whirlpools, basically, right? Um, this is basically useless. I want to put this on E, guys. I don't know. Um, I don't, I don't know. It would it be a D. Oh, wait. I moved, accidentally moved the gunpowder barrel. But 
I don't know if I want to, like, you know, put it on E, but would it be too harsh, guys? I just don't feel like it's that good. Let's just make it look better, right? Um, so, Lucky Coin. Oops, let me fix the thing. Lucky Coin. I feel like Lucky Coin is as good as the lead line, right? It really would be, like, at A, both of them, right? So, they're nothing crazy. I feel like, right? Then not that crazy? I feel like it would be this. It would look like this, but... I think... Just because, why not, right? Because we do have exactly six items. <laughs> I'll probably list it like this, so it looks better, right? But... Really, just the lead line is like a little bit like A plus tier, right? But... So... Actually, let's just stick traditional to the tier list. I would put it here, cause they're not that crazy, right? Cause we're the I only put navigator for profession, like the video before, on S tier, cause that one it changes. It will it's so good, like it get, if it gives you speed, right? Boat speed, you can just do everything faster. So that would be S tier, but these they're not really like crazy life changing. Besides maybe the lead line, right? That will let you basically camp at like the dark sea infinitely almost right hmm so yeah so the that line could either be s or a doesn't really matter for now we'll just put it on a just so it looks better right and then maybe when we get more artifacts in the future we can change it so anyways guys that's basically it for the video um <laughs> you see my screen here don't mind it hey and i'll see you guys next time goodbye